All right, we're gonna drink a little Ramona local whiskey here. I didn't know Ramona made whiskey. Hey, welcome back to another episode of All Around the 56, where we highlight my favorite businesses across the 56 highway. I'm Dan Beer with Beer Home Team at EXP Realty. Today, we're in the heart of Poway. We're going to Player Sports Grill, which has an awesome setup an amazing set of beers on tap and great food. So let's go in, let's meet the owner, see what they're all about. Hey. hey how's it going, Dan? Welcome Good. to Player Sports Grill. Good to see you. Thank you, you for having us today. Oh, so. anytime. Give us a little bit of background as far as what Players is, how long it's been around, and just your vision for what you're doing here. Sure. Players uh, Sports Grill has been around for about 15 years. We started in San Diego on Clare uh, Claremont Mesa Boulevard. Uh, opened up a place in San Marcos. We're coming up on our 10 year anniversary and uh, we opened this six years ago. Um, San Marcos is more of a college one. This is definitely a neighborhood bar with uh, family friendly values. We have kids that come in all the time with their sports leagues. Uh, we're very active with uh, ARC, which is a, uh, a group that helps individuals with disabilities. We uh, have people that come here and work on our patio. They learn social skills, money counting skills, things like that. We've even had one of the guys uh, did so well, he's now working at a supermarket by himself full time. So That's awesome, uh, man. Yeah. I know you get really involved with the community. And this is really more than the food, the burgers, the nachos, the beer. It truly is a uh, community establishment in Poway. There's nobody that doesn't know players. Absolutely. You walk in this door and you're bound to see someone you went to high school with That's here. Awesome. If you're from Poway, you'll know somebody when you come in this place. Cool. And if you're not from Poway, by the way, <laughs> get your butt across the 56 right. and come and take a visit. And meet someone from Poway. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> so where do you want to head at first? I see that bar. It's full of beers. Let's go take a look at what you got going on. Right. So let me show you our beer selections back here. We have 30 handles, a bunch of microbrews, couple Coors Light, Bud Light, just for the locals who love drinking all that. And um, we have this system here that our beer comes out colder than anywhere else. First of all, I like you. Because I'm one of those, I don't know if I should admit this on camera, but I'm one of those Bud Light people. And normally we just get made fun of. So you were so much kinder about it. Oh, uh, no, no, no. I, I, I drink Coors Light a lot of times. So. All right, so but, you got a bunch of local beers here. Absolutely. Some local, some you know from out of state. But uh, you know, local is the 394, the Stones. Um, you got the Belching Beaver, the awesome. Pizza Port, Garage Brewing, Ballast Point, That's awesome. uh, Society. Those are all local beers. I know beers. I'm in the minority, so this is what everybody wants. Yeah. We have all yep. the big names right here. Yeah. We have our cooler right on the other side, but we also use a system that's called the glycol system that actually makes the beer colder here than it is sitting in the cooler. That's so this good. beer comes out of here probably at about 31 degrees. That looks interesting right here, this rye whiskey. Yes, this is actually out of Ramona. So this rye is produced is in a small really? batch out of Ramona, yeah. No way. So welcome to try some if you want. Let's do a, let's just do a touch. Just a little. There you go, give it a shot. All right, we're gonna drink a little Ramona. Rye whiskey. whiskey here. I didn't know Ramona made whiskey. Yeah, it's called Sunshine. It's a sunshine up in Ramona. Good stuff, yeah. It's really friend Robert here loves it. That's easy. That's soft and easy. Smooth. Awesome. awesome. You know, something else you would really love here, local garage brewing, this is um, this is a marshmallow milk stout, if you want to give that just a tiny sip. it's uh, I'm so not I a big actually, stout guy, but I it's... I am a stout guy. Are you? Yep. I like to I, I go both extremes, right? I like. I love stout. Yeah. So what is this? Marshmallow milk stout from Garage Brewing, Garage, marshmallow milk. which is local, Temecula. <laughs> Delicious, isn't it? Oh, man, I've been on a, <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Turn the camera off, we're going to do some drinking. All right. All right. I'm getting hungry, time to eat. Let's go this way, yeah. Let's Let go. me show you what we got for you. Let's do it, let's do it. All right, guys, so that was a lot of fun. We got to check out the beers. We took a look at the kitchen. They're making us our Roundup burger. We have an awesome-looking plate of nachos coming out. 
and so I'm just ready to eat. I am hungry, and how could you not be when you take a look at the food? The energy in here, by the way, I have to mention, is just really cool. Like everybody is smiling and friendly, and it just has the kind of energy where you can easily make it your spot that you just come to once a week or so on just to hang out and see people in friendly faces. And it's been interesting watching folks come in and be greeted by name from the staff and so on. So now it's time to eat. Got a plate of nachos here for you. There you go, family reunion style. So, let's take a look at what we have here. Love that. One of my favorite things, when I'm eating a nacho, and it's just cheese, it's just sour cream, this has a little bit of everything on it, doesn't it? <laughs> they do it both layers. So we put some nachos down, then we put some cheese and chili on it, and another layer of nachos with the cheese and chili on it. So, it's a uh, fantastic dish. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome. And you have to love the heat of it. All right, all right, these are awesome. I need to leave us just a minute here because I have this burger staring at me. So, again, this is the Roundup Burger, right? Yes, sir. It's our Check half pound uh, Angus burger. It's got it barbecue bread. sauce, cheddar cheese, bread. ciabatta bowl, uh, bowl with go. an onion ring and some bacon on it. My man, you had me at ciabatta. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, like, it's like the hack, right, for burgers, meaning Throw a little, you make it on a ciabatta and it's all right. It's You're delicious, much, yeah. It's going to be good. Yeah. It's going to be good. We actually yeah. take and do a, a mayo on the burger and then and, uh, grill that to make it kind of the bread just that much more better. All right, don't look. meat is, first of all, that meat itself is delicious. Thank you. You get quality stuff, I can tell. Yep. We were talking about your quality earlier. Yes, sir. And you can taste the difference between a good patty and not. So what makes your patties different from other meat that you could have purchased for the restaurant? You know, I, I'm sure it has something to do with, like, the, it's Angus beef. It's uh, it's an 80-20, so it's a nice burger. Still got some juice to it, though, as you can see. Uh, you know, we don't smash it to squeeze all the juice out. We just let it cook. Uh, it's funny that you like the burger. We had some people come in trying to sell us some uh, new burgers recently. I got about a dozen of my regulars, and we cooked up all these different burgers, and this one still won out. Our burger that we had won out as the best burger. This guy here. Yep, yep. Awesome. All right, guys. I'm gonna sit here, enjoy the rest of my meal. This is Players Sports Grill in Poway. It's all around the 56. I'm Dan Beer, Beer Home TV, DXP Realty. And we're trying to bring you the best in our personal favorite businesses right here across the 56 corridor. So come give them a visit. I'm gonna hang out here with my man. And we're gonna have a good time watching. And you have, a, how many screens do you have in here? We've got 24 on the inside and we have uh, six on the outside. 24 screens on the inside, six on the outside. So we got a lot of uh, sports to watch as well. So we'll check you guys out later. Whether you're buying or selling, the answer is clear. Go with beer, the beer home team. All right, a semi-truck of nachos later, a Roundup burger. This is a little bonus footage. He's telling me he has the best wings around. I said, prove it. Because as you know, I'm a wing guy. I love wings. It is my thing. So here you go, a little bit of bonus footage, a little <laughs> wing tasting test, and Let's jump in and do it. First off, I love the color, by the way. Thank you. First thing I said to you really quickly when you brought that out, I love the color. It gives, it's, um, you know, what creates this more orange versus the more red tone? Well, it's a little yeah. bit of a secret, but we start with some hot sauce and we probably add enough items to make it about a 50-50 mix. For every gallon of hot sauce that we're buying, we're adding other stuff in there. Uh, and part of what we add lightens up that color a little bit. Awesome. All right, here we go. Oh. It's hot, so let's see. Oh, temperature, yeah. All right, just one bite. It's good, huh? I knew no. you would love it. It melted right off. Yep, that's because we baked them right first. Off. Bake them in the oven until they're all the way cooked, and then they get deep fried to get the crisp on the shell. But the inside is juicy, juicy. The yep. outside's crispy. There's nothing I like worse than a mushy, soft, soggy wing. Crispy outside, 
and just a moist. That is awesome. Man. It came right off. Glad Look at you that. like it. Yeah, it's and I love the flats too. Because <laughs> you can eat them like that. Yeah, I'm into the into the flats. So if you're a drumstick person, let's get together. Let's eat some wings. <laughs> That's right. You can have all the drumsticks. This is my jam. Yep. All right. Awesome. Love it. Good.